Hey, it's Jake Mace with jakemace.com. Let me tell you guys a little something about Chinese Kung Fu. Chinese Kung Fu is not just all punches and kicks and animal styles and weapons and things like that and fighting. It's much, much more. It's a religious, spiritual discipline that has roots that stem all the way back to the sixth century when an Indian monk known as Damo supposedly traveled from India to China and ended up at the Shaolin Temple to teach the monks his brand of Buddhism. And so today, if you go to the Shaolin Temple, they worship Damo as a god of sorts. And there are tablets and shrines erected to him all over the place. I've been to the Shaolin Temple twice. The first time when I was 19, when I was going to Duke University for a semester long study abroad program learning Mandarin Chinese. And the second time when I was in my uh, mid 20s. And if you can look past the commercialism of the Shaolin Temple, because it really is a very capitalistic, commercial, um, Disneyland type atmosphere, they're trying to get you to buy everything. If you can look beyond that, it is a very remote, hard to access place that's away from major cities and really has this sense of peace in the landscape. And so what I'm reminded of when I think about that tradition, when I'm thinking about Damo, and when I think about a thousand plus years of Chinese heritage that is behind the movements of Chinese Gong Fu, I think about the original form of training that Damo supposedly taught the Shaolin monks. And that was Yi Jin Jing, the muscle tendon change. And so I was taught 49 different postures that I uh, practice to this day. And it's my favorite, favorite, favorite part of the training that I train and that I teach to my students. And so I wanted to share three poses with you right now. And uh, some of these poses are really good for mental focus, for breathing ability, but also for physical strength. So get up right now and try this first one. It's called Laughing Buddha. I want you to have the arms up right here. Reach for the sky and then take a deep breath in. Exhale and bend back as far as you can. Then breathe in. Exhale and bend back further. Breathe in, exhale, bend back further. Two more. That's the first pose. I want you guys to try doing about 10 to 20 breaths of this posture. Whenever I do Yi Jin Jing, I start breathing intensely in my dogs pick up on it. Maybe they can sense the chi. Okay. The next one, I want you guys to hold your foot like this. This way. Do this. Grab the foot. If you, do, if you don't do it with me right now, you won't understand how difficult the posture is, and you also won't understand how it makes you feel. So grab the foot like this. Then take the other hand and put it behind your back. And then extend your foot forward like this and straighten the leg. And we're going to try for three repetitions doing this. Breathe in and go down. Breathe out, come up. Again, in, go down. Breathe out, come up. One more, in, down. Out, up. Good. Before we tape this video, I did about 10, 20 reps, but I didn't have pit bull kisses on the way down like that. So, other foot, grab the foot, hand behind the back. We want to find our balance first and extend the foot forward in front. Breathe in, go down. Breathe out, come up. Breathe in, down. Breathe out, up. One more, in. And out. And back. Okay, so that's posture two. Posture three is sometimes called crow or crane pose, like in a yoga class, and it's virtually the same thing. Put the hands down right here. Hook your knees behind your elbows, like this. And then lift the feet off the ground and control your balance with your fingertips and your hand strength. And we're gonna take 
five breaths here. You guys hear how vocalized my breath is? I want you to copy this. Breathe just like I am. One more. And down. Uh, okay, I'm kind of feeling that. Two bonus postures, two bonus poses. First bonus pose. Breathe in. Extend the leg up. Hold this arm up. Five breaths. And bring it down. Same thing, other foot. Hold it. Breathe in. Breathe out, extend up. And down. So as you can see, it becomes not just a physical conditioning discipline, but it's a discipline of external meditation. And so this is what the monks learned. Apparently learned, they learned 49 poses of the I Ching. Some of them are easy. This was an assortment today. And there's an order that we go in and this stemmed and it spawned all the different martial arts styles that came out of the Shaolin Temple were birthed from these original I Jin Jing muscle tendon change or the classical muscle tendon change poses. I hope you guys today, right now, go check out jakemace.com. It's our brand new website. It's gonna be a website of online training. We're gonna have videos there eventually that are not contained on our YouTube channel that are more comprehensive, longer, and more in depth than YouTube. And they're gonna be on jakemace.com. So the website's not ready yet, but it's up and it's active. Go there right now, click the button to email me, and email me your email address and say hi and we'll put you on our list and we'll email you the second it's live and the videos are ready it'll be sometime in october so go to jakemace.com right now check out my instagram at jakemace tai chi go to facebook.com slash jakemace dot tai chi like this video subscribe and the rest of the week today is wednesday the rest of the week i want you guys to do these five poses every single day even if you suck at them you're not that good, try the best you can. You might be shaking and bent over and bent like, do the best you can for at least five to 10 breaths and do these five poses every single day. And we'll build it with videos coming up in the future. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.